Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Morning Markets here at True Potential. Before we start, a reminder to join us on tomorrow's podcast, Do More With Your Money, which will be hosted by our Chief Executive, Daniel Harrison, where myself, Dan and colleagues will discuss how to invest in these inflationary times in the UK. Now, this brings us neatly to yesterday's data in the UK, and it says a lot about market expectations that yesterday's UK CPI print of over 9% didn't come as a surprise to markets. The inflation backdrop here is changing from acceleration to persistence. It's going to take many months for inflation to begin to cool. I'm probably going to have to wait until 2023 before we see a real deceleration in price growth towards more acceptable levels of inflation. Now, this exacerbates the cost of living pressures for households, but it's a global problem. As an example, Canadian inflation yesterday for the month of May came in at a 40-year high. Inflation is everywhere. What is driving these inflation pressures in the UK? Well, prices for food and for non-alcoholic beverages were up uh, over 9% for the 12 months through May. Recall that food inflation in the US is up over 10%. Inflation really is everywhere and it's becoming a political problem. You'll be aware that in the UK, the government is facing strikes from workers on the railways regarding paying conditions directly linked to the cost of living squeeze. Yesterday in the US, President Biden floated a suspension of federal gasoline tax, a so-called three-month holiday to try and bring an immediate downdraft to prices at the petrol pumps in the US. It will have to go through Congress, though, where it will meet some challenges. Now, gasoline prices in the UK have risen around about 66% over the last 12 months, and it's similar in the UK. And these are the problems facing governments, that the acute cost of living pressure is translating into the opinion polls. But what can they do when the acute problem has been driven by commodities such as oil and grains and the restricted supply given the disruptions from COVID? This brings us to the problem that faces central banks. What is the appropriate level of interest rates to try and bring inflation down to a more manageable level without causing too much harm to the underlying economic strength we're seeing? Recall we have full employment in most economies. Now, while central banks admit that they can't reduce headline pressures that are being driven by oil prices, say, or by food prices. They are more worried about underlying inflation pressures, the broadening of pay awards and rising inflation expectations, mainly from consumers. The challenge for central banks is perhaps best illustrated by the about turn in language from the chairman of the US Federal Reserve yesterday in testimony to Congress there. Having spoken confidently about being able to engineer a soft landing in the US as interest rates are risen only four weeks ago, he has now turned more circumspect and is no longer confident that he can engineer that soft landing. He went further and he said that recession is certainly a possibility with regards to the level of monetary policy tightening that the US faces over the rest of the year. And all this is against the backdrop of global growth slowing. Recall that as China has emerged from its latest COVID lockdowns, it's trying to re-accelerate economic activity. But global commodity prices away from oil are showing some signs of distress. Metal prices are down for the year. And that really indicates that perhaps China isn't um, re-accelerating as quickly as feared. And also that we are facing uh, slowing growth from the US and from the UK. So that's all for today. Please join us tomorrow where we'll update you on measures of economic activity for the month of June in Europe and we'll speak more about inflation. Are you interested in taking your investing to the next level or would like to know more about the options available to you when you retire, then download our free guides to ICES and pensions. These are available in the video description below.